Early evening, bonsoir. <laughs> um, so uh, I've been shopping. It's Saturday. It's the day after this next video, or the last video, should I say? And uh, we've gone and got the plasterboard and the rest of the insulation ready to finish on the bolted ceiling on Monday. I thought I might as well go get it today rather than driving over there Monday morning, which means Richie's waiting around and I'm effectively paying him for standing around, which is just not cost effective. Very anti-productive. So I've got Kaz as my labourer today. She always loves labouring for me because I'm so pumped. And we've got Sky as foreman or fourth person. So um, we'll get to the house shortly and uh, we'll start loading out and cut. <laughs> Oh, the joy. It's one of the most annoying things in the world, constantly loading out materials. So uh, time consuming, especially when you're doing it on your own. Right, I'll set this up on high speed. You can watch me load out because we all know how exciting that is. Last one! Now I know the lighting is terrible and I'm going to be silhouetted, but there you go, that's 17 sheets uh, with the spare off cuts that I've got, that's enough to do everything, so that is wonderful. Me and Richie will be back Monday morning with smiles on our faces, ready to do some more insulation. See you then guys. Bonjour, good morning. Right, I've been on site since dark setting up. Richie turned up on time as always. So we're just gonna finish putting this final bit of fiberglass insulation in this bay here. It's cut ready. Morning Richie, let's do this. Right, that's that uh, finally all insulated now. So what we're going to do is just uh, tidy everything up up there. Any loose gaps we'll fill with um, a little bit extra. And then we'll uh, run some cables ready for the downlighters. Right, me and Richie have been up marking out exactly where all the downlighters are going to go. So we've basically put a center line in, which you probably can't see, but there was a center line. Then we've measured off of it, checked our spacings to make sure that we're within spec um, so we get good illumination in there. Basically what I've decided on, I went and had a meeting last night with a friend who's very talented at this sort of thing. Um, we're gonna zone it. So this side, the downlight is illuminate on one switch. This side, gets illuminated on another switch and then we're going to put in separate on another switch a light that operates that one the center one and another one there so if you want it all on it's basically going to be on three switches so you're going to have it really really bright in there with everything or just one side illuminated or if you fancy a bit of you know fancy lighting you can just have the chandelier and the two side ones um, what we're going to do is i don't know what they call i don't know how you explain it but basically you have it so 
they have like metal wires that trace along the purlin and they have tiny little led lights that can be shunted in any direction so we're gonna have like you know probably 10 little leds along that purlin like that on both sides so it should look quite nice um we're gonna go up there now and start to uh, run the cable which will be extremely exciting for you to watch in high speed no doubt I tell you what, this stuff is like wrestling an anaconda. If you get it wrong, it is an absolute nightmare. We've, we've used this quite a lot, so we're quite conscious of the fact of like, unwind plenty, take the twists out, because otherwise you're just getting a right muck and fuddle with it. And also, don't help having to work at height the way we're doing it. It's just very uh, slow and tedious, but uh, we're getting there. It's all going well. Oh, that's more than adequate, isn't it? Right, okie dokie. We are back to normal speed. There you go, that's this side all wired out. Happy days. Um, we won't film us doing the other part because it's boring. Um, and apparently, all I do on this uh, channel is just talk and uh, do F all work, apparently, because that's a comment I got in one of my John and Coco videos. <laughs> to you. <laughs> right we're back again we're just currently setting these uh center lights off of the purlin in ridge beam richie's just drilled directly up and now if he gets it right okay. he'll drill across like this and it'll uh, meet where he's drilled no pressure richie you're live on camera the test is is if you see some debris drop out that hole you know he got it right That was a no then. <laughs> I didn't see none. Just blow, blow, blow. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, it's very important. Live at this old French house, running cables through a purlin. Oh, look at that, straight through. Best one out of three. Oh. Two out of three. I think we can safely say they're all going to come through, and it's through. And that snags in there, look. Oh, I'm happy. I am happy. This is when I uh, remind you, you've got to feed the other one through now, yeah? Right, we're going to um, do the other side the same, and then we've just got a tiny little bit of... Um, just infilling with a little bit of insulation here and there and um, then we're ready for plasterboard. Right, we've now finished uh, pretty much everything we can do. Um, I got 100 metres of cable, it was just a rough guess to be quite honest, I had no idea how much we needed. We have done literally everything apart from on this final bit, we haven't got enough cable to go from there over to the switch so we need another bit to do that but that doesn't really matter, it just means we leave um, this bay undone which we're not gonna have time to do it today anyway, so it's no biggie Right, we are gonna start plasterboarding and we're gonna start plasterboarding this bay here I'm now going to proceed to tell you a quick story um, Many many years ago. It's that long ago. I can't even really remember How old I was, but I think I might have been Possibly late teens 
18, 19 maybe. Um, I was working for a local builder's um, building company called Wilkinson's where all my mates were doing all their apprenticeships. And the first time I ever experienced putting up plasterboard was with a bloke called Steve Winters. And um, we actually did an old uh, vaulted ceiling in an old barn conversion. And I remember being up there on the scaffold, like it was all right up, real pain in the ass to be working. And I remember watching Steve scribing it all in, cutting the back of the plasterboard out. I didn't have a clue what, you know, how it was done and stuff. But, you know, I was there, I helped, I watched, you know, I helped put it up. Um, and I think it's just really fitting that all these years later, like 20 plus years later, I am finally, finally getting to actually tack my own vaulted ceiling, which is quite special for me personally, having been in the trade for so many years. Um, so we're going to get the guns out, we're going to set everything up, and uh, we're going to uh, get tacking. So whilst we're um, going to get set up, I thought I'd introduce you to a very faithful old friend. This is my original Senko collated screw gun. I've literally had this gun about 15 years. It's, it's been down the stairs multiple times. It has literally earned me tens upon thousands of pounds back in the UK when I've been working. Um, I recently sent the batteries off a little while ago and had them all redone uh, um, just because it's, it still works. So um, if it's not broke, you know, why, why replace it sort of thing. So we're, we're going to use this to uh, put up some boards. Richard just did some measurements, so we will put up this board. Right, let's uh, put up the first sheet of plasterboard at this old French house. First proper bit of board. I've cut like this literally tens of thousands of times and when I show people what I do, they say, oh, I'll have a go and they try to do it. <laughs> Never works. I can always guarantee you that will be within a middle two of absolute perfection. Hey? Our cuts are that accurate, Richie. We don't need a surf form. Right, that's the first sheet up, let's carry on. Right, first bay completed. Right then, that's uh, that bay done. Um, I'm having tomorrow off because Karen's going back to England for the uh, holidays uh, a week or so ahead of me. So uh, I'll be back on Wednesday, so I'll get this video uploaded. See you in the next one.